Now this was filmed a long time ago, quite a number of years, and it has been sitting on my hard drive for a long time now, with a lot of other footage featuring uh, me hunting and decoying with the Renfire. As I was concentrating on my air rifle channel, Hunters of Vermin, and I wasn't sure what to do with this until the big lockdown with the COVID-19 virus, so I started scratching through my hard drive and decided to start uploading this on a new channel, Nitro HV. So uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, it stems the boredom a wee bit. Now this was a bitter, bitter cold and windy morning in April. You'll see in some of the later footage that there is still snow lying around the back of uh, some of the ditches. Now it's coming up to lambing time and as with every year the farmer asked me if I can try and control any of the hooded crows namely and magpies if I, get, if I get a chance at them on this ground before he starts lambing. So the best way I do this is uh, setting up a hide. This is the uh, bush chair hide from bushware.com and uh, I set out a bit of bait as you'll see later, a decoy, usually a dead crow, and sit and wait. Now this is the exact same setup as I use for the air rifle, except with the rimfire I can push the ranges out to 50-60 yards with the bait and the decoy setup. And then a morning like this, when it's quite breezy, the air rifle would have been at a distinct disadvantage. So the rimfire was the better tool for the job. As you can see, the decoy is actually a dead bird, shot usually on a different piece of ground and uh, set up in a little wire cradle that I make and it makes it look as if it's standing on its own two feet. It's much more realistic than any plastic decoy that I've ever used and uh, works a treat with me. It's not infallible by the way. Sometimes the birds just do not seem to be interested at all but it does look the part. The bait it's basically a dead rabbit, split open, and made look as if a fox or something has killed it in the night, ate its fill, and abandoned what's left of it. I have used other things like a fake nest with uh, eggs in it, and even a loaf of bread. Now, I've just popped into the hide, I'm still getting myself set up, and a hood of crow drops down. Now, they don't usually drop in as quick as this, and unfortunately, I'm not ready for them. I get the camera zoomed in on him, then start to get the shooting stick set up and the rifle. But while I'm trying to thread the muzzle of the rifle out through the hide netting and get it onto the shooting sticks, I think the bird must notice the movement and he's away. He doesn't seem to have gone too far, and the temptation of a free meal on such a cold morning has him back in again pretty quickly. But he grabbed a mouthful 
and by the time I had the gun on him, he was away. Really need a lot of patience for this carry on. Few minutes later, and he's back again. He really likes that rabbit. I'll get him this time for sure. Squeeze the trigger. Click. No bang. What's going on here? I don't think a round feed it out of the magazine into the chamber. The joys of a semi-automatic, hey. And while I'm still trying to sort the problem out, Mr. Crow flies off with another beak full of rabbit. Yep, it's back again, and they do say third time's the charm, but I think we're long past that now. But his luck ran out this time. Shot's good, but I noticed his head's up and moving around a little, so I put another shot in for insurance. And the rifle of choice? Well, it's a custom Ruger 1022, and I'm using Winchester 22LR hollow point subsonics. Now, I don't usually leave the hide when I'm decoying, but I've noticed that the birds have lost interest in the bait, so I decided to lift the bird I've just shot in case the sight of it was putting the other birds off. And it seems to have worked. It's another strong hit at about 50 yards, but the bird runs off camera and drops dead about 10 yards away. Almost within seconds, a third bird lands, right beside the bird I just shot. I really wasn't expecting something to come down so soon after the sound of the shot, which caught me by surprise. But he didn't stay long anyhow. He sat in one of the distant trees for a while, watching the situation. but then seemed to clear off, so I decided to go out again and change the decoy pattern. I moved my decoy bird to a slightly different position, then ran over and picked up the bird I'd just shot. I think half the battle was getting out and getting a wee bit of exercise to get myself warmed up again but I really shouldn't run on camera. We're starting to get an audience in the distant trees, so we've definitely caught the bird's eye again. But even after waiting a while, none of them will commit, they won't land. So I decided to run out again for a wee bit more exercise and left the decoy bird and bring it in and just leave the bait out. The birds are definitely interested, but still no joy. So after a bit more waiting, I decided to run out again 
and set up one of the birds I had shot this morning into the decoy stand to see if that would work. Any more of this running back and forth and I'm going to wear a rut in the field. Thank goodness, after all this waiting, a bird has finally dropped back into the decoy pattern. The fresh decoy from this morning seemed to do the trick. But again, click and no bang. I quickly racked the action back and got back on to target. dead crow and this time this bird wasn't running off I can't honestly remember what the problem was but it was probably a dirty magazine that needed stripped and cleaning but I had had enough of the cold by now and decided to call it quits as that last crow was a real uphill struggle to get well that's another 300 crows in the bag and it's just started snowing. It is freezing out here. There's at least another one knocking about there in the distance but uh, he's learned not to come in. It's uh, almost as if somebody's actually warned them. I wonder how 